Divine Father, in the serene hush of this morning, I stand before you with a heart brimming with thanks for the precious gift of life and the chance to welcome a fresh day. Gratitude fills me for the breath in my lungs and the strength to rise and greet the dawn. Here in your presence, I offer all that I am to you. Guide my steps, O Lord, and infuse me with your wisdom and insight as I journey forward. Grant me the grace to see the beauty in every moment and to embrace your will with humility and poise. Give me the bravery to confront the hurdles ahead, reassured by your eternal presence by my side. May your peace beyond comprehension shield my heart and thoughts through Christ Jesus. And may your boundless love radiate through every action I undertake. Leave a like for this video and share it at least one time to help us reach more people. Spread the gospel and change more lives comment using the word Amen. In the face of whatever you're dealing with today, God wants you to know that your help comes directly from Him, the Creator of heaven and earth. We're about to embark on a heartfelt prayer together, calling on God for divine protection and abundant blessings in the name of Jesus. Stay with us until the end, open your heart, and be ready to receive the uplifting power of this prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you, humbly seeking your divine shield to wrap around me, protecting me from the schemes of the enemy and all forms of harm, whether seen or unseen. Let your angels encamp around me, guiding me on the paths of righteousness, defending me from danger. Lord, I lift up the needs of those around me, their joys, sorrows, hopes, and fears. Be their comfort, their guide, and their strength. May your presence shine as a beacon of hope in their lives. As I step into this new day, may your light illuminate my path, drawing me closer to you and deeper into your love. May my words and actions mirror your goodness and grace, inviting others into your loving embrace. Thank you, Father, for the precious gift of this day and for your unwavering love and faithfulness. Help me live each moment with intention and purpose, bringing honor and glory to your name. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth, for you are my God, my Savior, and my hope all day long, as said in Psalm 25, verse 4 to 5. To you, Father, I give all praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. One of the most beautiful things about the Lord is His deep affection for those who have been rejected, hurt, and left behind. He seeks out the places where others may not dare to go, just to find those who feel abandoned. In Mark chapter 2, verses 15 to 17, it's written that Jesus, while having dinner at Levi's house, was surrounded by tax collectors and sinners. Despite criticism from the Pharisees, Jesus embraced these outcasts, explaining that he came not for the righteous, but for the sinners in need of healing. Jesus actively seeks out those who society overlooks, the forgotten, the denied, and the shunned. He shows us that God's love knows no bounds, reaching out to those whom others may deem unworthy or outcasts. I can't help but wonder how many of you out there are listening right now feeling disconnected and isolated due to the challenges life has thrown your way. Maybe you put on a brave face, but deep down, you're hurting. Let me share some words of encouragement from the Bible. In Mark 11, verse 22 to 25, Jesus tells his disciples to have faith in God. He assures them that with unwavering faith, even mountains can be moved. Believe in your prayers, and they will be answered. And remember, forgiveness is key to receiving God's forgiveness. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 reminds us to trust in the Lord wholeheartedly, not relying solely on our own understanding. Surrender to Him and He will guide your path straight. And in Psalm 28 verse 7 we find comfort in knowing that the Lord is our strength and shield. Place your trust in Him and He will lift you up, filling your heart with joy and inspiring songs of praise. So if you're feeling lost or alone, Hold on to these words of hope and let them guide you through the darkest of times. Dear listener, I want to remind you today, in the comforting embrace of Jesus Christ, you are never alone. No matter what you're up against, no matter the obstacles in your path, God hasn't forgotten about you. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your endless grace and mercies, which greet us anew each morning. Strengthen our hearts today, Lord. May the Holy Spirit fortify our faith reminding us that in the midst of life's trials, we have a steadfast friend in Jesus. When troubles overwhelm us, 
when the weight of our problems feels too heavy to bear. May the Holy Spirit whisper to our souls the soothing words of Scripture, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. We serve a living God, mighty to carry our burdens, capable of moving mountains and toppling every wall that looms in our lives. For this, we are grateful. We have reason to rejoice. Grant us the strength, Lord, to rise each day and face the challenges that weigh us down. You are the God of the impossible, and there is no obstacle too large, no challenge too daunting for you to overcome. Indeed, it is because of you, Lord Jesus, that we find our strength. It is because of you that victory is assured. For everyone listening today, we lift up our burdens and troubles before you, Father. Help us to trust in you, to find joy even in the midst of difficulties, and never to take your goodness and kindness for granted. I declare my faith in your ability to fulfill all your promises. You will fight for us, as you've promised, in your word. With you by our side, we have nothing to fear. Though challenges may come, we will not be crushed. We will not be destroyed. Instead, we will stand firm in faith, looking to Jesus, our Savior, our help, our stronghold in times of trouble. We pray and declare that the favor of the Lord will rest upon our lives. May it establish the work of our hands, bringing blessing and abundance, Lord Jesus. Help us to keep your word close to our hearts, guiding us in every step we take. Lord, I pray not only to know your word, but to walk in it daily. Help me to diligently keep your precepts so that every step I take is directed by you. May your statutes convict my heart, leading me to live in true obedience to your word. Challenge me, Lord, so that I do not merely claim to be a Christian but fail to live out your teachings. Instead, empower me to live and keep your word with my whole heart. Open my spiritual eyes, Holy Spirit, so that I may grasp the wonderful revelations and promises within your word. Stir within me a desire to meditate on your word daily, making it a habitual practice to spend quality time in Scripture. I recognize the necessity of immersing myself in your word, Lord, for it has the power to transform me, to shape my character, and to mold me into a vessel fit for your use. Let your word penetrate every aspect of my being, challenging even my deepest attitudes and perspectives. Father, as the psalmist declared in Psalm 119, verse 25 to 29, my soul clings to the dust, longing for revival according to your word. I've poured out my heart before you, and you have answered me. Teach me your statutes, Lord, and grant me understanding of your precepts, so that I may meditate on your wonderful works. In moments of heaviness, when my soul feels burdened, strengthen me according to your word. Remove from me the path of falsehood and graciously grant me your law. Father, I pray to be revived by your word, to be empowered and strengthened by it. May the Holy Spirit guide me not only to meditate on your word, but to truly understand it, becoming a devoted student of your teachings. Lead me away from living a life consumed by worldly desires. Direct me towards the path that leads to eternity, into your loving embrace. Hebrews 4 verse 12 reminds us that your word is living and powerful, penetrating deep into our souls, discerning our thoughts and intentions. It brings life to the believer and has the power to transform. Thank you, Lord, for the life-giving power of your word. I pray that your word would be like a refining fire, purging me of all impurities. Burn away the sins, the cycles of addiction and every evil stronghold in my life. May your word shape and strengthen a godly character within me. Let your word act as a mirror, revealing my flaws in contrast to the true likeness of Christ. Like a lamp in the darkness, may your word illuminate my path, giving me direction and purpose. Just as food sustains our bodies, may your word nourish my soul, for it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from God. May your timeless word cleanse and renew me, washing away the old and building my faith. As Psalm 119, verse 168 to 172 declares, Let my cries and supplications come before you, O Lord. Grant me understanding and deliverance according to your word. I lift my voice in praise and gratitude, King Jesus, for hearing this prayer. In your name, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. During a meal at Levi's house, Jesus sat among tax collectors and sinners, 
drawing criticism from the Pharisees. To them, he replied, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. Then, turning to his disciples, Jesus urged them to have unwavering faith in God. He assured them that with sincere belief, they could command mountains to be lifted and cast into the sea, and it would happen. He emphasized the power of prayer, declaring that anything prayed for with true belief would be granted. However, he also stressed the importance of forgiveness, teaching that before approaching God in prayer, one must first forgive others to receive forgiveness from God. Trust in the Lord wholeheartedly, Jesus taught, and don't rely solely on your own understanding. Surrender to him in every aspect of your life, and he will guide your path straight. The love of God is truly divine, unwavering, and eternal. The Bible boldly declares that God is love. His love is so immense that John 3 verse 16 reveals, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Our Almighty God, Jehovah, exemplifies love through grace, forgiveness, and mercy. Romans 5 verse 8 beautifully illustrates this, stating, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Imagine, even in our rebellion, Christ's love remained steadfast, willing to sacrifice himself for our redemption. In John 15 verse 11 to 13, Jesus instructs us to love one another as he has loved us, emphasizing the ultimate act of love, laying down one's life for others. And so, dear listener, if you've felt abandoned or betrayed by earthly relationships, know that Jesus Christ will never abandon you or betray your trust. His love is faithful, unchanging, and everlasting. My friend, if you've experienced rejection from someone you hoped would love you, remember this. Jesus Christ will never reject you. He knows you intimately, calling you by name. Take a moment to count your blessings and never take God's goodness for granted. Consider where you'd be without God's unconditional love and forgiveness. Where would you be without His saving grace? Reflect on how different life would be if the Lord had not intervened, if He had not been your constant companion. These thoughts may be daunting, but they remind us of the immeasurable impact of Jesus in our lives. Without him, we'd be lost, blind to his love and mercy. So let's express gratitude for his fatherly care, his protection, his friendship that surpasses all others. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ for being the friend who never leaves, the healer of our ailments, the redeemer of our souls. He stands as a beacon of hope, a source of strength, and a guiding light through life's darkest moments. Absolutely, adopting a mindset of gratitude for God's goodness and blessings should propel us towards a life of service and obedience to Him. Instead of dwelling on what ifs that benefit us, let's focus on how we can lead more people to Jesus Christ, how we can serve in His body, and how we can walk in His will each day. Our ultimate desire should be to live lives that glorify God and bring Him pleasure Let's never take his blessings for granted, but continually express gratitude. As 1 Chronicles 16 verse 34 reminds us, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Becoming accustomed to God's blessings and failing to give thanks can lead to spiritual complacency and ingratitude. Let's guard against this by praying for fervent hearts, burning brightly with passion for God. And let's not neglect to offer heartfelt thanks to the Lord, for failing to do so reveals an unrepentant heart. So when was the last time you prioritized giving thanks to the Lord? When was the last time you genuinely expressed gratitude for His presence and blessings in your life? Let's make thankfulness a daily practice, acknowledging God's hand over our lives with sincere hearts. Indeed, John 3 verse 16 is a powerful testament to the depth of God's love for humanity. It reveals the extraordinary extent of his love. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. This verse encapsulates the essence of the gospel message, the sacrificial love of God demonstrated through the gift of his Son, Jesus Christ. Through belief in Jesus, we receive the promise of eternal life, a priceless gift made possible only through the boundless love of God. Now let us pray. 
Lord, you are omniscient and omnipotent, aware of our every need and circumstance. In times of distress, we look to you for help. When danger surrounds us, we seek shelter in your comforting presence. In every situation, we turn to you alone. Psalm 68 verse 19 to 20 reminds us to praise you, our Savior, who daily bears our burdens. You are the God who saves, offering deliverance from death. We thank you and offer all praise, for you are the one who sets captives free, defends the helpless and strengthens the weak. Have mercy on us, Lord, and on our families and homes. Protect us from the clutches of the enemy, shielding us from destruction. Do not let us or our loved ones be overwhelmed by the trials of life. As we wait upon you, Lord Jesus, help us to be still and acknowledge that you are God. You alone deserve all praise. We trust you to handle our cares and to guide us into tomorrow, for you are in control. May the Holy Spirit empower us to understand that you are truly sovereign over all aspects of our lives. As we navigate through deep waters and fiery trials, we are confident that victory belongs to you. Lord Jesus, enable us to live lives overflowing with gratitude and praise, no matter what challenges we face in this world. You are our ever-present helper, the one who upholds us with your righteous right hand. We trust you to supply all our needs and to keep us secure. You are the answer to every challenge and difficulty we encounter in life. We praise you for always being there for us, for your unfailing love and protection. We worship you because you forgive our sins, heal our wounds, and restore us to wholeness. Thank you, Lord, for saving us from destruction and showering us with your loving kindness and tender mercies. We will bless your holy name for as long as we live, lifting our hands in praise to you alone. Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with continual praise, even when things are good. Help us to remain steadfast in worship, acknowledging your goodness and faithfulness in every season of life. I will bless the Lord with all my soul, praising his holy name with everything within me. Even in the midst of life's challenges and difficulties, I will continue to lift up his name and offer him my heartfelt praise. Lord Jesus, I praise you, because you alone can satisfy my thirsty soul. You are the faithful lover of my soul, the giver of life, and the one who renews and refreshes me. In your presence, I find wholeness and restoration. I give thanks to you, Father, for your abundant and unfailing mercies. Thank you for hearing this prayer. In the mighty and precious name of King Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. For God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. Praise be to the Lord our Saviour, who daily bears our burdens. Our God is a God who saves. From the Sovereign Lord comes escape from death. We must strive to align ourselves with the will of God, and His will is revealed to us through His Word. As John 1 verse 1 states, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Dear Lord, grant us the grace to live lives that please you, obedient to your revealed will in your Word. May we be firmly rooted in your truth, avoiding the fate of those who claim to know you but do not follow your commands. Help us to immerse ourselves in your word so deeply that our lives become living testimonies of your grace and power. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. When challenges arise and we feel trapped, let the word of God be our source of encouragement. Let it reignite the fire of our faith, renewing our hope and belief. Regardless of the obstacles we face or the size of the enemy, we have the assurance of God's promises through his word. It is our divine and heavenly insurance policy, ensuring our victory. Take a close look at Luke chapter 4, 
where Jesus faces temptation in the wilderness. The devil challenges him, first suggesting he turn stones into bread to satisfy his hunger. But Jesus responds, quoting scripture, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Next, the devil offers Jesus the kingdoms of the world in exchange for his worship. Yet Jesus firmly rebukes him, saying, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Undeterred, the devil attempts a third temptation, urging Jesus to throw himself down from the temple's highest point. Again, Jesus responds with scripture, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. After exhausting every temptation, the devil leaves Jesus, waiting for another opportunity. This passage highlights Jesus' unwavering commitment to God's word and his resistance against the devil's schemes. It teaches us the importance of knowing and relying on scripture to overcome temptation and stand firm in our faith. It's crucial to recognize that when the devil tempted Jesus three times, each time Jesus responded with the word of God. The devil persistently knocked, offering worldly riches and power, but Jesus remained steadfast, filled with the truth of God's word. Three times Jesus replied with, It is written, firmly rooted in scripture. Now consider, when the devil comes knocking at your door, how will you respond? Do you possess enough of God's word within you to resist and fight back? We must immerse ourselves in the word of God, meditating on its teachings, for it equips us to withstand the devil's schemes and remain protected. Lord Jesus, you are mighty and wise. I pray that your word may dwell richly within my heart, guiding me in every aspect of my life. May I live according to your principles and commands, finding strength and courage to resist temptation and stand firm in your truth. I pray that the Holy Spirit will breathe life into the word of God for me. May your word be deeply rooted in my heart, Lord, should the devil attempt to tempt me, may your word rise up within me, empowering and strengthening me. If the devil tries to entice me with worldly riches, fame or anything else, help me to cling to your word. Remind me that your word in 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 assures me that no temptation is too great, for you provide a way out. Lord, you alone satisfy my deepest hunger and quench my thirst. If I hunger, you are the bread of life. If I thirst, I will come to you, for in you, my soul finds overflowing fulfillment with rivers of living water. Keep me steadfast, Lord Jesus. Help me to reject the advances of Satan and boldly declare your word when confronted by evil. I stand firm on your promise in Isaiah 41 verse 13, knowing that you, the Lord my God, hold my hand and say, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I am truly grateful for your promise, Lord. With you as my help, I have no reason to fear. Even as the devil schemes against me, I trust you to come to my aid. When enemies rise against me, I trust you to defend me, Lord Jesus. Truly, even if a thousand fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, I am secure in you, my refuge. For you, O Lord, are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? You are the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I dread? In the midst of life's struggles, of all shapes and sizes, you remain my steadfast fortress in times of trouble. I find assurance in your promises, knowing that you have never lost a battle, nor can you ever be defeated. So whatever may come against me, I stand firm, knowing that I have an almighty God fighting on my behalf. I declare victory in Jesus' name. I affirm that I am more than a conqueror according to your word. Covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, I lift my praise to you, Master. Be glorified, for you have heard my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Are you someone who wants to live like Jesus every day? What does it mean to be faithful servants of the Lord, striving to please Jesus Christ in everything we do? Let's dive into Proverbs 1 verse 7, where it says that having a deep respect for God is where true wisdom begins. It's about understanding that God's guidance shapes our behavior. When we fear God, it drives us to turn away from sin and pursue a life of purity and holiness because we recognize His holiness. 
And let's not forget 1 Peter 2 verse 21, which tells us that Jesus suffered for us, leaving behind an example for us to follow. This means that just as Christ endured hardships, we're called to walk in his footsteps. So what does this mean for us as Christians? It means embracing Christ's example of sacrifice and service, striving to live lives that reflect his love and compassion. In the Amplified Translation of Luke 9 verse 23, Jesus tells everyone that to follow him as a disciple one must deny themselves, let go of selfish desires, and be prepared to face challenges daily while following his example, even if it means enduring suffering or death for their faith in him. Taking up your cross each day means immersing yourself in God's ways daily, building a deep relationship with Him. What does this daily commitment look like? It looks like prayer. Jesus Himself prayed frequently, often finding quiet places for communion with God. The disciples recognized the importance of prayer, asking Jesus to teach them how to pray. Prayer becomes the cornerstone of our relationship with God, where we set aside our own desires and focus solely on Him. A true follower of Jesus serves wholeheartedly with every action aimed at bringing glory to God rather than themselves. Their deepest desire is to magnify the name of the Lord above all else. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 reminds us that everything we do, whether eating, drinking or any other activity, should be done to bring glory to God. So, as you engage in your tasks in God's kingdom, let your motive always be to honor Him rather than seeking recognition for yourself. Whether serving, singing, or ushering in your local assembly, do it all for the glory of Jesus Christ. Our hearts should be filled with a desire to demonstrate God's goodness in our lives with pure and godly intentions in all our actions. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, all glory and honor belong to you. We come before you because we need your presence, your love, and your grace. Help us to serve for your glory, to take up our cross daily, and to turn away from the allure of worldly pleasures. Fill our hearts with a reverence for you, so that our highest pursuit is to seek you above all else. We look to you, King Jesus, for guidance and wisdom. We refuse to rely on our own understanding, but instead lean on you in everything we do. Grant us, Lord, an attitude of humility and a heart of service. May I decrease so that the glory of the Lord increases, lifting his name higher through my words and deeds. As Psalm 34 verse two says, let my soul boast only in you, Lord. Teach me to find my pride in you alone, rather than in my talents or possessions. In our weaknesses, may we boast in your strength. In our trials, may we boast in your saving power even with few earthly possessions, let us boast in your provision. In all that we do, may our boast be solely in you, God, not in people, abilities or resources. And as 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 instructs, let us stand firm, immovable, always giving ourselves fully to your work, knowing that our labour in you is never in vain. Lord, I pray that you would help us remain steadfast, unwavering in our faith in you always overflowing with the work of your kingdom. Let everything I do bring glory to you, not seeking recognition for myself, but aiming to please you and draw others to your goodness. Forgive me, Father, if I have ever sought the approval of others above yours. Though my human nature may desire the applause of others, teach me to crucify my flesh and humble myself before you. Heavenly Father, as I come before you in prayer, I am humbled by your presence and overwhelmed by your love. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the creator of all things seen and unseen. I bow before you with reverence and gratitude for all the blessings you have bestowed upon me. Lord, I lift up my heart to you, knowing that you are the source of all wisdom, strength and grace. In your infinite wisdom, you guide me along the paths of righteousness, leading me in the way I should go. Grant me discernment to recognize your voice amidst the noise of the world and the courage to follow your leading with unwavering faith. Father, I thank you for the gift of life and for the countless blessings you shower upon me each day. You are my provider, my sustainer, and my refuge in times of trouble. I surrender my worries, fears, and anxieties into your capable hands, trusting in your promise to never leave me nor forsake me. 
Lord Jesus, I am in awe of your sacrifice on the cross, where you paid the price for my sins and offered me the gift of salvation. Help me to live a life worthy of your calling, walking in your footsteps and sharing your love with those around me. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may bear fruit that glorifies your name and brings light to a darkened world. Holy Spirit, guide me in prayer, interceding on my behalf when I do not know what to pray. Teach me to pray according to your will, aligning my desires with yours and seeking your kingdom above all else. May my prayers be fervent and effective, bringing about your purposes on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, I pray for my family, friends and loved ones that they may come to know you and experience the depth of your love. Strengthen our bonds of fellowship and unity that we may encourage one another in faith and bear each other's burdens with compassion and grace. I lift up to you those who are suffering, whether from illness, loss or despair. Comfort them with your presence, heal them with your touch and restore their hope with your promises. Use me as your instrument of peace and reconciliation, that your love may shine through me to those in need. Father, I commit my plans and ambitions into your hands, trusting that you will order my steps according to your divine purpose. Help me to seek your kingdom first in all that I do, trusting that you will provide for all my needs according to your riches in glory. Lord, I thank you for the privilege of prayer, for the opportunity to commune with you, the King of kings and Lord of lords. May my prayers be a sweet fragrance unto you, rising up like incense before your throne. All glory, honour and praise belong to you now and forevermore. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a grateful heart, acknowledging your sovereignty over all. Guide me in your wisdom, fill me with your strength and lead me in your ways. Thank you for your provision, your grace and your unfailing love. May my life be a reflection of your glory, and may my prayers be pleasing to you. Bless my loved ones, heal the hurting, and bring hope to the despairing. Help me to walk in faith, to serve with love, and to live for your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Leave a like for this video and share it at least one time to help us reach more people. Spread the gospel and change more lives by comment using the word, Amen. To further support the dissemination of this message, consider sharing this video with a friend or family member. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and enable notifications to stay updated with more content that nourishes the soul and uplifts the spirit. See you at next video.